I was at the launch of the new booster a couple of months ago, the UK launch, and I said what would be fantastic is to take this bike down to the south of France for a bit of a tour. Well, thanks to our friend COVID, we can't do that. But what is better? We're going to do a trip into Wales on this fine machine. But what's better than having one booster? That is two. Bring her in. A pair of higher boosters and one Gregorio. Roll the intro. So today we've got a bit of an epic trip, as I mentioned. Wales, we're actually heading towards uh, Aberystwyth is the destination. We're going to Cheddar Gorge for breakfast. So we're basically heading northwest is the plan. It's around about, I think it's going to be around about 400 miles in total today, Greg. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a bit of an epic adventure. We've got the weather for it. We've got sunshine. It's only a bit of rain coming this evening, so we're hoping to be back for then. I mean, we are on high boosters after all, you know. We should be able to do it in a couple of hours, I reckon, 400 miles. No problem on these. So we've actually had these for a couple of weeks, haven't we? We're coming to we the have. end of our loan of these bikes. And uh, what a fantastic couple of weeks it's been, to be honest. Yeah, it has. It's just take, it's taken us a couple of days, didn't it, just to get into the the way that they ride yeah well they're quite different aren't they they're very long and obviously there's a little bit of weight there so it, it takes uh, it doesn't take that long does it just to get used to them but a couple of days it took me to i mean it's fine the moment you get on it but you really notice the handling characteristics don't you they're so different but after a couple of days i've only been riding this since we've had them and uh, i feel completely at one with it now and they really do handle quite well, don't they? Surprising. It is surprising, isn't it? It is. I mean, I was obviously on the UK launch of these and I was impressed on the launch, but of course on the launch, you, you do a little route, you're following someone. It's not the same as actually having it and, and using it as you would as if it was your own. But uh, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've really loved it. It's not at all what you'd think it would be, is it? I think is one of the things. The standout things before, you know, I know we're going to do quite a lot of chatting over the next eight ten hours yeah. but the suspension comfort is incredible isn't it one of the most comfortable suspension setups i've ridden in ages and i think you know they've done a great job with that and i think it's coupled with the weight of the bike just it glides over everything and there's no vibes are there and that's the other thing we really noticed yeah exactly that's that's the two standout features for me the the the, the suspension setup i mean it's not the best quality it's, it's ky you know it's not top line Olin's, but just how suzuki have tuned it for, com for comfort and performance uh, and uh, and the smoothness of the engine it is so so smooth isn't it and effortless that's the two standout things but anyway it's not all about the bikes today it's all about the fun factor and we're off to wales we've only been riding for five minutes and the, the fog has descended <laughs> <laughs> and then, they didn't I, forecast this what's i said about the nice weather oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so we've both got a full tank of fuel, so we'll let you know what these are like on uh, on fuel consumption. So my range is saying I've got 107, 197 miles. The bikes have got a 20 litre tank. Um, we'll keep you posted on the, on the actual fuel use, real world fuel use. But I, I think that, that, from what we've seen, that I think that range is relatively accurate, I would say. I think Obviously so. it depends how much right wrist you give them, but, uh, but you don't need to give them that much right wrist here because they've got all that grunt, so you really don't need to thrash them at all. So we're starting this just sort of north of Portsmouth, that's where we started from, four miles or so north of Portsmouth. We're now in Winchester, the plan will be Mackey's for a, a quick coffee in about an hour. 
and then on to uh, Cheddar Gorge to gorge yourself for breakfast and then uh, on to uh, Aberystwyth taking in some sights on the way through the Brecon Beacons Devil's Bridge and then on to the a late lunch hopefully <laughs> Aberystwyth fish and chips on the beach oh yes this is the source of road they excel on isn't it sort of nationals totally sort of 70 80 miles an hour it's uh, under 4,000 revs it's, it's unbelievable yeah these are perfect roads for it aren't they Yeehaw! for a trip like this is uh, there's not many bikes I'd rather be on to be honest I don't think there's any bike it's it's the perfect bike for the job it is you know sports bike be too uncomfortable uh, big tourists for me just a bit bulky aren't they and this is perfect you can have fun in the twisties can't you I mean it's just so nice to sit at speed yeah I think if you're the sort of rider that likes to do fairly longish rides on a Sunday morning or whatever or nice A roads it, you've got to at least give it a go haven't you yeah you have go and try one even if you're not totally sold on the looks because I think the looks also when you have it for a while they sort of grow on you a bit as well don't they yeah they do yeah I actually I sort of like to straight away the look for it. I think it looks so much better than the Gen the 1, Gen yeah. 2. It's just sort of sharpened up a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And on the road, they look great. The on the road presence as well. Brilliant, brilliant. It, it looks really smart. Progress update. 20 past 8 now. 20 past 8. We're in Stockbridge, I've got 156 miles left on the fuel range. What have you got, Greg? 148. So mine's, yeah, you're, you're catching up with me in a bit, aren't you? Yeah, let's turn that. I'm just going to see, I did reset the trip when I fueled up. I was, uh, so we got the trip for the day. So, so far we've travelled 33 miles and we've been going for an hour. Well, since I left, since I reset the trip, so... Uh, Yes, 33 miles in. Right here? Right here. Sun's coming out. Oh, a bit of sun, a bit of sun, a bit of blue sky there. <laughs> Come on through, sunshine. Soak up those high speed corners. So good, isn't it? This is a life mate, eh? This is a life. This is so good. You can't beat a bit of a trip, can you? Amazing. Yeah, I've never been Wales, in one of those places. I've never really done much in Wales at all. I've been in just to go to the odd place, but I've never ridden a bike in Wales. Um, and I've not done much of Wales at all. No, I haven't either. And it's meant to be really good, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, everyone says it's... If you get there a day when it's not raining, <laughs> I think it's about five days a year that that happens, so we may be lucky today. <laughs> it's meant to be fantastic. These roads are so good on out here. The thing which is great about these is if you do end up getting a bit hot into a corner, on a lot of big heavy bikes that don't handle, you're sort of in trouble, aren't you? Yes. But these, you can just scrub off a bit of speed and just lay them in. And they handle so well for big bikes. Oh, what a great bit of road that is. I know, it's, it's, it's really good, isn't it's it? It's so incredible. Because we haven't got a USB charger, I'm trying to it's save down the, there. my batteries. No, it's definitely not down there. You, don't, you need the other pants, there's a skid risk up there. <laughs> yeah, no USB, so I'm saving the batteries on the phone, so we're trying to do this route from memory until we get... To, well, we're not probably not going to get all the way to Cheddar, because it won't, but as far as we can go from memory. Uh, yeah, Thruxton, yeah, that's right. No, I don't recognise it. Steering lock. Steering lock's also worth a mention, isn't it? Very good. Go on, mate, after you again. Oh, this is it to Mackey's now, isn't it? We're, all mu we're almost at Mackey's for a coffee. Oh, oh. give an eye like. Proper breakfast later. Yeah. I want a fuck's piece. <laughs> Add a little, uh, little sneaky hash brown to wet the whistle before we get for breakfast. A pre-breakfast, I like to call it. <laughs> a little starter. And uh, yeah, quick coffee, and then we hit the road again. Oh, 
Brecky done. Onward. Tanks crossing. Salisbury play, look at this. Sun is finally out. We are 46 miles per gallon, 60 miles into the trip. And 140 mile range still. Beautiful. This is what we want mate, isn't it? Sunshine, it's now up to 19 degrees. Traffic's cleared out. We've got some twisties. <laughs> this what is more the do line. you want? Looking good from behind, John. The bus is looking good. It's not often I'm riding a boy which has got a bigger ass than me. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the bus's ass is not that big. Uh, come into the twisty bit and then you get traffic. It's always the way. Always the way. How long we've we been riding now? Let's have a look on the old tripperoo. Hour and hour and hour and a half we've done. I can tell you exactly. Hour, hour, one hour twenty six and I'm as fresh as a daisy oh, yeah, absolutely me too. as fresh as a daisy and it's so nice having that bit of cruise isn't it actually I'm going to bang it on now as we come through this little town there bit of cruise yeah, control the, the cruise is I know oh. loads of bikes have it now but on this sort of bike it's, it's really nice just gives you a chance to have a little rest and then so it really helps on a sports bike doesn't it yeah I think it's right it is right I think in fairness it was actually BMW that started that as a... Yeah, it was, yeah, the S1000RR, yeah. Because I remember when they first put it on, you know, obviously a few generations ago on their S1000RR, and it was a bit like, well, oh, that's a bit odd, but what a good bit of thinking that was, wasn't it? Yeah, this is where it could get a little bit twisty-windy. Remembering the tourney. I've got to say, though, uh, talking about highlights earlier with the Busser, uh, we're talking about the suspension and the handling of the engine and the smoothness. But one of the other things, that, and it's been talked about a lot already on YouTube, but the dashboard is awesome. Yes, it's, it's, I think it's my favourite dashboard on any bike. I, I think it is mine as well. It's so nice. You've got all the information you need in the TFT, which you don't need all the time. And then just the basic stuff, analog dials, it's so refreshing. It actually sat on the bike. It's such a view, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's, you're very much sat aboard and on it. Aren't you? You're like aboard yep. the bike. It's, um, I think, actually on the bike, I think it's my favourite bike for the view when, when you're riding yeah. it. You know, it's that, incredible, that, isn't it? Yeah. You really feel like you're in it, don't you? Yeah. It's almost like a fighter jet, isn't it? It feels like a fighter yeah, jet a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've got to say, I absolutely love it. You know, I, the only reason I wouldn't buy one is because I don't know why actually, but I think it's just no. <laughs> I was just I was just going to say, would you actually buy one then? But I, I I would if I I wouldn't want it as my only bike, and and that's why I wouldn't buy one because it's a lot of money to spend on a bike that's not your only bike. If I think if money was no object, I'd love one in the garage because for this sort you know a big a little big trip in a day like we're doing today. It, 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 I think it takes some beating, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I, I could potentially see myself owning one of these. It's not a bike I, I want to rush out and buy now, but I, I could see me having one of these at some point. That's, that's the way I, I look at it. it, they, it they are something special, aren't they? Yeah, the, the, I think the only reason what would stop me having this, I say, say if, if you just want it as, an, as your only bike, which I think it'll do a great job as being your only bike, you know, it can do anything really, but what it can't do is like track days and stuff. Definitely. So if, if I were to have a bike, it needs to be able to do the odd track day. And you could do, you could do it and it would go around the track, but you know, no. it's, yeah, it's, yeah, not, it it's not built for that, is it? It wouldn't be pleasurable. I think when he broke really hard on a track, it just, it just wouldn't be that pleasurable, I don't think. No, I agree. So that, that's probably the, the biggest thing why I wouldn't buy one, because I'd need my only bike to be able to do that as well. But if you're not bothered about track days, I, I think for a road bike, I can't... It's really hard to think of another bike which could beat it. The S1000RR is a very good road bike, as well as a good track bike. Yeah. That, that would be the only thing which I think... But that is a bit, you know, that's a bit more revvy. It's not a Grand Tourer like this, you know. No, you can tour true, on exactly. that bike, but it's not as nice to do distances on as this is. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Are you still flashing? Uh, I am. I'll put your knob away and stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
I think one good thing which has come out of Covid and everything is it's you know forced people to do a bit more touring within the UK and I think like today we're going to Wales rather than go to Monaco <laughs> but I, I, I think you're going to be surprised actually at what you do have on, on the doorstep in the UK. So Gregorio, we've not really spoken about uh, your sort of biking history really and your knowledge of bikes and you know why I've invited you on the channel really to talk about bikes because you know some people may not know but Greg is actually my brother-in-law and we've sort of known each other since we were 15, 16 years old. This is true yeah so we both, well, I can't really remember how we met but obviously we had biking in common even then didn't we and when, when I when I first met you, I think you had... I think it's yes. that way. It's that I way, isn't you, it? It is. You had a Honda MTX 80. <laughs> it was a 50. Right? It was a 50. MTX... Was it a no, 50? No, yes, you're right. No, yeah, yeah. That was the... Yes, that was right. That was the MTX. It was the MBX 50 I had. The MTX was an 80. That's right. No, it was the MTX 80. Yeah, I, did, I didn't know you when you had the MBX. And... Um, I, yeah, I'm actually a year younger than you, aren't I? So, obviously, at that time, I was I was limited to a 50 and had a 50, and you had a you had an AR50, didn't you? I had a Kawasaki AR50, correct? Yeah. For those of you that know what that is, it's like a a geared 50 that's hopelessly slow. And uh, unlike the Busser, when you were doing about 30 mile an hour, the rev counter was almost buried in the red, <laughs> literally. And um, yeah, then I started tinkering with big ball kits on it, and um, yeah, it's left here. I um, I remember going out one day. I managed to rustle up the money to go and buy a a 65 cc big ball kit for it. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. And when I went to buy it, they didn't. Obviously, this is way before internet. They didn't have any. They only had a 90, and the 90s were really for an AR80. Right. And uh, I thought screw it I'll buy it anyway <laughs> and fitted it and um, yeah my AR50 did 70 mile an hour for a few weeks before it blew up <laughs> well it didn't blow up but it just wrecked the bearings <laughs> 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 to be honest um, yeah and then ever since I mean I've never from the age of 16 I've had a bike and I've never not had a bike unlike you had a bit of a break didn't you yeah exactly when we had, when we had the kids I sort of gave up biking for a few years and I got back into biking well I've had when before I gave up I've had things like KO1S's, TZR250's, ZXR 750 H1's and stuff and then I gave up biking and then I think it was 2007, 2005 something like that then I bought the CBR 900 again what, what turned into Beastie but throughout that whole time in between you've always had bikes haven't you so you've had I think you said you've had over 20 bikes, haven't you, in total in, it's, in that it's time? It's a nuts amount of bikes. I've had pretty much all of the sports bikes, with the exception of I've never had a ZX10 Kawasaki, but I did. I have had Kawasaki's. I, I had the KO1S when I was obviously young. I think I was probably about 19 when I owned the KO1S, uh, which was, a, you know, in its day, it was a great bike. And in fact, I had that when you had your. ZXR 750, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And um, in fairness, it was it was quick enough, wasn't it? In, in its yeah, day, it was certainly quick enough. And then but you've of had course, you've... it blew up. Um, <laughs> There's a common because... theme here to your. Uh... <laughs> well, no, I mean that wasn't my fault. They all blew up, didn't they? The rings turned on the KL1S, didn't they? And and of course, it happened to mine, and it blew up. Um, and then I got it, managed to get it rebuilt. When I had no money at the time, so again, it rebuilt was just awful. Um, yeah, I remember that. And then I sold it, and then I got a 400, a Yamaha FZR 400. Then I got a Fireblade, and then yeah, that was really the start of the big bike scene. And then I've had everything in between. And Supermotos, a, a DRZ 400, haven't you? When they were available. Yeah, I did DRZ 400 Supermoto actually. Yeah, and that was that's obviously a long time ago now, but the, the V Twin Tuonos. GSXR 750s, the original R1 you had, didn't you? The blue one. I did. I had the K5 GSXR 1000, which is 
obviously renowned for being one of the best and it was an incredible bike and I, I actually took that to the Isle of Man a couple of times to the TT and that you know it's great around there it's great everywhere really and yeah uh, and you had 916 at one point as well didn't you I had a 916 and I had a 996 SPS for those that know what that is did you you had the SPS did you I didn't yeah, know you had the SPS sport I forgot production you had that. special yeah yeah with the termies on and that yeah you know again real it's one of those bikes around town and anything sensible was awful but once you got onto the open road you know it was amazing yeah yeah right but, you know, I, I want to say so right here I want to say yeah, it is right. right here it is right here and then of course completely different you had one of the victories didn't you the big victory cruiser at one point I had a victory hammer s which was great fun actually really really surprised fast surprisingly far obviously handling's questionable but it is a cruiser but that was good fun yeah I mean uh, the bottom line is I there aren't many bikes that I get on that I don't like um, if I'm honest you know I, I'd say one in ten bikes I might ride and go well, you know it's not that great for me but other than that I like everything and I I respect anyone that rides anything as well you know it doesn't matter whether you've only got 500 quid in your pocket and you're just riding something that's older still having fun you know so yeah I love yeah. it so that that's why Greg really is uh, I've involved him in a lot of these comparison videos because he's obviously got a great deal of knowledge about many different bikes been riding since he was 60 well that's been 30 years of riding then more or less isn't it yeah it you is must have had 30, it is. 30 years of riding experience so there we go bit of, bit of history for those who are asking who's Greg and what's he doing on the channel well it's a bit similar to me because that's why I got into it because my uncle used to race in the sort of 60s 70s or 70s mainly I think um, you know he, he's had things like RD 500s and stuff and that's one bike I really wish I bought off him I did buy a K01S off him his, his race, he used to race a K01S was he only two strokes then John that he raced basically? yeah I think it was mainly two strokes he was racing yeah. So he had a KL1S which I bought, I bought his race bike off him, it was all Stan Stevens tuned and uh, had that for a little while. So yeah, that's, I think that's how it works isn't it with bikes, yeah. I think it's definitely very much in the blood, you know, is someone in the family's had one, you know, when you were a kid and you're, you've been exposed to them as it were, and yeah, uh, yeah you just realise how fantastic it is. Where are we now? This isn't familiar now. No. I don't know where we've got to go now. We'll just pull up over there and we'll get the nab yeah. out now, I think, because I, I just doesn't familiar at all now, is it with you? No, should we have turned off or something? So we've just now crossed into Somerset. We're now in Somerset. And we're heading out, I think we've got 45 minutes now until we hit Cheddar, it says. But I'm sure we'll beat that. <laughs> we had to put the sat nav on because we got lost, as, uh, as you always do. Right, quick little stop for a wee. Got my baby wipes in the trunk. I don't need them for the Wii, I'm just gonna work the camera. <laughs> I'm not having a poo. It's <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Let's give you a little wipe. <laughs> I'll turn you on. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm talking about, talking about the camera. <laughs> absolutely fantastic day so far lovely man isn't it 20 degrees perfect weather let's get this uh, boot back together it's the most relaxing riding experience on these buses they're quiet roads they're fast and flowing and it's just a relaxing experience john isn't it it's really really enjoyable isn't it yeah there's no stress the engine you know the, the bike's relaxed i feel relaxed everything's just calm isn't it they run really cool as well don't they? i've not noticed any heat coming off there's not even now like hardly not moving and there's nothing is there yeah no i must say even though you black the comfort seat on the standard seat my ass is fine at the moment is it really yeah and we've been a couple of hours into it now yeah it's a good my point actually my body normally starts to complain after a couple of hours 93 mile range 91 I'm on and we've been riding for 2 hours 10 minutes and how many miles we've done we've done uh, 97 miles 97 miles and we've still got three stopping what's he slamming his brakes on for I don't know why you're not there trying to read the trip meter 
Yeah, 93 miles range and we've done over 100 miles. So that 195 tank range is looking like it's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's pretty good. Because these are so grunty, you don't have to rev them and, and burn the fuel. Even though these are, these are 1340 cc, whatever they are, they're That's actually right. better on fuel than a 1000 cc superbike. I just did some effortless overtaking. I know, it is effortless as well, isn't it? You only have to rev it to like five and a half, six grand, and you're absolutely motoring, aren't you? Yeah, they just it just feels like it goes on forever in like fourth, doesn't it? Yeah. Junction it. Yeah, what's this guy? What I love about him, you get to a little twisty bit of road like that and you can throw it around and it's really rewarding. Definitely. Yeah, they're just sort of flowing, aren't they? Delicious. Delicious. This road is so tight and twisty coming into Cheddar now, isn't it? It's a, it's a proper little hill climb. Oh, look at this, everybody. This is it, Cheddar Gorge. Starts to get more spectacular as you go in if you've never been. It's amazing, isn't it? Really is. Look at this view. So you just shout out when you want me to pull over, John, yeah? Into the gorge. We'll pull over. I brought the drone with us. I've got my little drone with us, so we'll pull over. A little bit of drone footage included as part of this video. This is as much about the, the trip as it is about the bikes. And so when we were here last time, a couple of guys doing base jumps off one of the cliffs here, weren't they? I know, yeah. Which I've never seen in the flesh, actually. No, I've never seen something. It's not that high, is it? You think? No, well, no, you I'd wouldn't... want it higher if I was doing one, I think. Give a bit <laughs> yeah. more time. <laughs> it's like literally jumps and then pulling the chute straight away, wasn't it? Oh, can you imagine the rush from doing that? I I'm just standing, standing at the top think oh. I'm going to jump, I'm going to jump off now. I know. I could do it. I'm not great with heights. That's, that's not oh, for I don't me. Think I, could do. I, I just think that the rush would be amazing, but I just think the risk of it going wrong is so yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. It's just still, oh, I don't know. Yeah. And it's probably not high enough to kill you instantly when you hit the ground either. Yeah, <laughs> so no, that's a problem, you could, it, you know. You could paralyzed. be lying there in agony yeah. for... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good spot, yeah. mate. Yeah, definitely. Let's pull over, get the drone out. What the hell's that, look? A little mountain goat. Huh? <laughs> mountain goat? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this right here? Uh, we'll, put them, we'll line them up in a sec. Oh, oh yeah, right. look at those. Goats. Who would have thought? Let's go and have a look. Let's look at the goaties. Look at the goaties. He was base jumping off there, wasn't he? Or maybe it was that really... No, no, it, it was, I think it was, I think the, was the next one, John. one, John. Was it that one up there? I think it was that tall one there, still at the top there, yeah. But it's yeah, pretty so intimidating, isn't it? Yeah. And as you say, when you're up there and you look down, it'll be hard. Oh, it's just, yeah. We'll have a look at the drone in a minute. You can see what it's going to look yeah, like from exactly. up there. Let's get some breakfast. Right, there's a nice little calf just down here, which does a, well, we haven't had a breakfast there, but we're gonna give it breakfast to well. It is now 11 o'clock, actually. It's certainly breakfast time. Popular this place, isn't it? No outside left. Delicious breakfast, I think you'll get. What's that place called? Enterprise. Edelweiss. Let's have a look at it. Van blocking the view. Delicious brekkie at the Edelweiss. Highly recommended. But now we're going on to Wales. 
got a good route now into Wales, so let's have a look. Chepstow to Ad Aberystwyth. Chepstow, how do I say it? Chepstow to Aberystwyth is our view route. We're ready, mate. Let's do it. From here, it looks like it might actually be dry in Wales as well. It looks like it might. They might have been lucky and it's not actually raining. We've actually got a couple of hours to go to uh, Aberystwyth. I've not told Greg yet because I think it's a bit too far. We've got the big, uh, big selfie stick off. Give it away to the camera. Absolutely fantastic, and it's going to be one of those bikes we're really going to miss when we go back. I, I am. It's Pete. 